Michael Reeves, if you haven't named your Sergio robot yet, I suggest you name it Sir Jerry. Puns are one of the greatest forms of comedy ever. You cannot convince me otherwise. Subscribe. The streamlined surgical experience for minimally invasive surgery they available surgery in the world today. Grade. I can build that. Hey, how's everyone's global health crisis going? And what better way to spend free time right now than to help the medical industry? Rat bastards are ripping hospitals off. Look at this, $2 million for one shitty robot. They can spend that on a couple hundred bandages or like one ambulance ride in the US. We can build a better surgery. A couple hundred bandages? Man, the US health system, jeez. Is that real? $1,000 for a bandage? It obviously doesn't cost $2 million to make a single robot, but you have to, there's this saying where you can't look at what it costs to make the second, like let's say drug or whatever. Like they say this when, when like drugs are way too expensive and what the hell, you only put this in it. But you can't look at how much it costs to make the second one. You have to also look at how much it costs to make the first one. First place to develop it, you know, all the time, the money, all the manpower that went into it. You know, you have to account for that too. They invested a lot, they have to get a return. So yeah, two Three million robot. dollars. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how much how much went into making the video robot, because it's I mean, I'd assume a lot. Say you're operating on a patient's foot. He starts screaming out in pain. You gotta get up to his face, smack him around a little bit, make him shut up. Good fucking luck with these robotic arms. They're slow as shit and they don't have any travel distance. Instead, we're gonna mount the surgical tools to a rail system that can move anywhere on the operating table. Just slap him with the scalpel. The nice thing about uh, robotic surgery is it has such a such a wide range of motion. Like, you can only do do so much rotation, right? But but this can do like a full 360. And it's no problem for it. Imagine if I did a full 360 right now. <laughs> that would hurt. So, uh, not yet, but one day. The, uh, the 360 MLG across the map Tomahawk no scope. One day. One day. But, uh, across the map, yes. 360, yes. No scope, not quite yet. Tomahawk? <laughs> they did surgery on the grave. <laughs> Yes, they did. But Michael, you're just gonna use your hand to make it move? No, you're stupid, and I hate you. That's oh, fair. But Michael, I hear you ask. So you can move the carriage yep. over any part of the operating table you it. want. Great, but how are you gonna move the medical tools up and down to engage with the patient? Well, that's where the carriage utility mechanism comes into play. That's the thing that's gonna move the scalpel or the clamp or whatever up and down. Okay, which is dude. Great. But Michael, <laughs> where's the surgery robot? Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, big reveal, this is the surgery robot. Massive payoff, huge, I have brain damage. Behold the superior <laughs> surgery robot, you Vinci shitter tins. It's got the cum. It's got the cable management. It's got the super fucking hard to reach driver boards. I don't know why I put them under here. I thought it would look. Where's the precision though? The mouse pad? <laughs> That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Please don't break it! Yeah! All right, the machine's working. Now we can start to control it. But Michael, where's the controller? Fuck you, you are the controller. Ooh. I got this VR hand tracking camera off of Amazon that works super Ooh. goddamn well. So you just take the hand coordinates from this, Good pipe stuff. it into the surgery robot, and bing, bang, boom. Wait, what? No way, that is... <laughs> hey, that's fun, but that, <laughs> that is not precision. You move your hand this much, and, and, the, and, 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 and the whole robot moves like this much. Robot go here, oh, robot do surgery here, oh no, patient bleeding there, oh, do surgery there, on that part. How about you do I'm operating in the lung. Oh no, patient's leg is bleeding. <laughs> it doesn't need to be that big. Surgery over here, now do surgery over there, and now do surgery- <laughs> Fuck you, Da Vinci, you shitty robot there? can't do now that. Do surgery you over there. Those little metal robot teats to do yours. Oh shit, before I sell my design to surgeons across the nation, we have to attach some surgical tools to the cum, because otherwise it's just a big ass robot. So let's buy a scalpel on Amazon. Wow, that is just unacceptable. Scalpels are gonna take a whole three days. Wow, that's pretty reasonable. Fuck no, that's messed up. Dang global health crisis. That's far too long. If only I had an alternative. If you really think about it, scalpels are just shitty, smaller knives. So why don't we just use bigger, better knives? Like, uh, hello, we already have those. Wake up, sheeple! Ooh. Are you tired of outdated surgical didn't technology? Think of that. Are you looking for I the bet cutting edge didn't in think power, of that. precision? The future of surgical robotics or is here. <laughs> Don't do that. Guys. Oh my god, that is scary. Unlike some other surgical oh, systems, no. we've run a gamut of tests to ensure our machine has power. I'm gonna stab a pineapple with oh, fuck mincing the operation. <laughs> Operate on it. Surgery over here now. Um, patient. 
Small incision. Move the uh, small incision. Move, will. move the patient over here with like a barbecue fork. <laughs> move the patient's arm. Stab. Move aside. Hey, I. I need to, uh, I need to adjust, uh, adjust the, the, the cloth under the patient. Can you, like, lift the patient up a bit? <laughs> Stab, lift. But power isn't the only thing we strive for. Precision is an essential of surgery, and we make no exceptions when testing for accuracy. What the fuck is that? Hey, Rick. Alright, precision test, thing. here it is. No, Lily, come on, please. What? Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh. Draw the Mona Lisa. Draw the Mona Lisa. I'm not gonna pressure you, but this is supposed to show how accurate my machine is. It'll reach the water. Let's see a Da Vinci try to do that. You might be wondering, is the system FDA approved? We're gonna go for like a laparoscopic appendectomy. So if we just make a small well, incision above the chest here, uh, we can... <laughs> A uh, little bit more difficult for some procedures. Appendectomy just means basically taking it out. So, appendectomy is just taking out the appendix. Usually we do it when it's like, you know, bursts or something. That's when we go for, uh... Surgery time! Take out your... Appendix time! We're controlled in a lot of surgical systems. Fuck <laughs> off. Like I was saying, moving the patient is a lot easier with the system. Like normally, you'd have to manually move them. Would be, uh, would you add this to your hospital? Do you think hospitals could adopt? Uh, seems a little dangerous. Okay. No, I mean, does he still have an appendix? I doubt it. Appendectomy, done. <laughs> this is such a good video. Anyone can do surgery with no prior training. Boot up right in front of him. Not too close, because because it's kind of dangerous. So just put your hand up. <laughs> Could you just put your hand out above the thing? <laughs> she didn't see the close, knife there, did she? Kinda... We're gonna make a small incision right above the ear. <laughs> oh, no. There's some six. There's some six. Okay, so you're doing it wrong. Oh, shit. Okay, so clearly. Well, fuck. Oh, cut. You're clearly doing another incision to stop. Plug the hole with the knife. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Nice. Plug okay, the look. hole with the knife. <laughs> oh, smart, it's, smart. It's smart. Okay. What do you do with yeah. this after you're done with the video? Okay, good incision. <laughs> Ah! If your patient's over here and you don't want him to be over there, move him over here. Do some surgery over here. Move him back. I don't even know what surgery this is supposed to be. Research blood and stopping. development for my surgical system. Internal if you're a blood looking at 10 out of 10 video. 10 out of 10. Man, robotic surgery. I mean, I could say it's basically made for the surgeon. Not for the not for the patient. I mean, obviously it has benefits. But for the surgeon, like normally we do like minimally invasive was uh, just laparoscopy. You guys know laparoscopic surgery, right? You don't actually cut open the abdomen. Well, you do, but just small little slits, not like uh, as much as you can see. You go in with, the, with a little camera and, and some mechanical arms, and you do everything by looking at a screen like that. But in robotic surgery, <laughs> the surgeon is like in a different room. You're, you're just in your room, sipping coffee, and controlling the, 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 the robot doing the surgery. It's so nice for the surgeon. Correct me if I'm wrong and if you can, but I think the the robotic surgeries, the, those those arms right now don't have like pressure sensors. So let's say you're going in, you don't actually know, like when, with, with those laparoscopic tools, when you push and pull, you're actually pushing and pulling like physically. You know exactly how much, like what, how much pressure you're applying. You feel it, you feel if you're doing too much. But with that, it's very easy to, to like, push too hard and, and maybe go through something that you didn't want to go through, you know? I think so, I think so. I've obviously never done it, but uh, I think that's the case. And uh, I, I, I can't imagine it's too hard to, to implement one day, I guess. That was a highlight from the live stream. Come on over and join us on twitch.tv slash Productions every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at around 6.30 p.m. Pacific. And subscribe. You're already here.